Salutations, cadets. I am your Commander Pika, and this is for Season of Defiance's Week 5 reset on March 28th, 2023. Seasonal story continues. Head to the helm to talk to Devrim K. Additionally, we now have access to Legend Battlegrounds, so higher difficulty, but also increased rewards when you use your keys if you have the War Table upgrades, which all are available to obtain. Also, if you're caught up on the story, head to the Tower Hangar. For Lightfall and Neomuna content, the Vex Incursion Zone is in Zephyr Concourse, the weekly partition is Backdoor, and the weekly campaign mission is Desperate Measures. Additionally, Master Root of Nightmares is now out, so dive in for that extra challenge and to earn the Adept Raid weapons. Difficulty will be both easier and harder than Day 1 Contest, as you are forced to be at least 20 levels under with extra champions and shields, but you benefit from Elemental Surges. This week is the first encounter challenge, Illuminated Torment. Complete on Master Difficulty for an Adept Weapon, or Normal Mode for an extra Pinnacle Drop. I'll have a quick guide out later, and another video discussing the Adept Weapons, Rolls to Chase, and Tips for Farming and Prepping. As a reminder, Trials of Osiris will have double rank points this weekend, so hop in to quickly level up and earn that shiny new Immortal SMG and reprised Astral Horizon. This week they have pretty great rolls at Saint. Even hesitant solo and PvE players should dive in, as their updated fireteam-based matchmaking pretty much guarantees you'll face off against all solos or some duos. For normal PvP, Shax has brought Rift as the weekly rotator playlist. In the Vanguard, the Ops playlist has Stasis Surge. For the Nightfall, dive into the Glassway with Solar and Strand Surges and defeat Belmont and their army of chickens. Achieve Platinum Rewards for a chance to earn the reprised Buzzard Sidearm as the weekly Nightfall weapon. To earn those extra endgame pinnacles, dive into the Vow to Disciple Raid and Pit of Heresy Dungeon. It's a great time to farm those Vow Deep Sight weapons, and newer players maybe farm the final boss of Pit of Heresy for great stat armor. Lastly, Dares of Eternity is in Loot Rotation 1, featuring weapons from Season of the Hunt. If you missed it, last week's Hotfix 7.0.0.6 went out. Main points were fixing the Deep Sight Chest and Root of Nightmares, the nerfing of those pesky Cabal Threshers, and moving Law Sector requirements to the higher levels of Guardian ranks. Full article will be linked in the description. Additionally, there was a massive PvP-centered dev article detailing the changes to matchmaking, modes, and comp coming in the later half of this season and next season. I recommend you read through the whole article as it is quite fascinating, but main points are tweaks to how SBMM works and finds players to better force good connections, adding two weekly rotating playlists that will always be connection-based matchmaking, the removal of the Trials Flawless pool with a big rework, and the addition of comp cosmetic rewards, a fancy new emblem each season for Ascendant 3 and higher, and a transformative transmat effect. With a new week, that means new vendor loot. Over at Banshee, for the next few hours, he has a solid PvE Furator 59 sidearm with Threat Detector and Repulsor Brace, and an Under Your Skin with Archer's Tempo and Turnabout. For his weekly, check the rangy Lodbrock C with Fragile Focus and Target Lock, and the Contingency Plan with Firmly Planted and Kill Clip. Alluded to earlier, Saint-14 has a pretty great PvE or Mortal SMG with Threat Detector and Hatchling, and a PvP Astral Horizon with Pulse Monitor and an Elemental Capacitor. Definitely dive in this weekend to grab those. For shaders, Ada-1 has Venture 5 Duality, Bright Innovation, and Dead Orbit's Fate. Old, rare, and pretty stylish. And the only armor worth noting is for Hunters at Ada-1. Not amazing, but interesting distributions. Now let's turn to the Eververse store for the weekly dust offerings. The class items for the new Eververse set is available, along with a new ornament for Jade Rabbit, the ornament for Trust, and a cool emote of Rulk. The rest will scroll on screen now. With that, I hope you have fun diving into the story stuff and chasing all the new loot. For those heading into Master Root of Nightmares, good luck and may your RNG be great. Be on the lookout for a guide on it soon along with some other information on vendors and player tips. And a massive thanks to everyone who's come to support the channel. We just hit over 1,000 subscribers. It means quite a lot. So big hug to you all. If you haven't yet subscribed, well, go click it. Otherwise, just being here is great, and I hope you find this information and all my content useful. As always, I am your Commander Pika. Be kind, have fun, and I'll see you on the battlefield.